In this video, we are going to use option buttons for the management to check out the impact of using the high fixed cost structure or the low fixed cost structure on the profitability of a company. So typically speaking, if we were to calculate the profits in a context like this, and in the first set of assumptions, let us just assume that the organization decides to go higher on cost. The sales shall be calculated as the number of units into the selling price. The variable cost would be calculated. Variable cost into the selling price. The fixed cost is going to be constant and the profit will be calculated. However, uh, if supposedly the company wishes to check out that what would be the impact if the company decides to go low on fixed costs but high on variable cost, what are the various options in Excel to explore that? So we go in the developer tab and insert and we pick up this icon for the option button. And we see that the mouse cursor changes. We bring the mouse cursor to the desired shape and size. Right click and say edit text and we could write high fixed cost. We could uh, copy this. Now we have the high fixed cost and the low fixed cost highlighted and now we need to define what that means. So we go to any one of them, right click and we get the format control. Now if this is checked, what is that we would like to appear and where and that is where we go define a particular cell. We might like to do it a 3D shading and say okay. So you see now when high fixed cost is checked, we see a one here and when the low fixed cost is highlighted, we see a two here. Now we could uh, redo this formula to reflect the change in the impact. So when one is represented here as a high fixed cost and two as a low fixed cost, one would mean that the variable cost would be this and the fixed cost would be this. Selling price, however, since is same in both the situations, so there's no change required to be done in the selling price. However, for the variable cost, if we now choose if this is equal to 1 and we might like to actually freeze the C2 if this is equal to 1 we know that that is when the fixed cost structure is selected so that is when we would like the variable cost to be this and we freeze this and into the unit sold else so if it is not one that obviously means it is two so then we want the variable cost to be 75 into the number of units sold now for the fixed cost if this is equal to one then the fixed cost is this else this no. and we freeze both the cells and we 
subscribe to values of cross now you see that when we check on high fixed cost we will get the fixed cost to be higher the variable cost of post code goes down and we might try to check on the impact of a high fixed cost and a low fixed cost so in the low fixed cost we see that the profitability is definitely picks up even when the few number of units are sold uh now we might like to do away with the visibility of this too and for that we might like to color it with a white color or maybe hide it why don't you try it